Ah, such a lovely, beautiful, glorious waterfall. With all its luscious, clear, crystal clean H2 aquaness. Oh, dinosaur and cavemen alike can prance about knowing they have such a nice, clean flow of refreshing water. Oh, the thoughts and the beautiful fantasies you can have about what could lie just beyond this waterfall up above it. The luscious green lands, possibly. Maybe a beautiful rocky spring. Oh, the wonders. Who knows what could be back there? Isn't it just such a beautiful, romantic sight? No, it's not! We don't care about that crap! Hey, guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo 2. I'm your host today, Silent Senior 09. And before we get started, let's go in here, back in Oogle Boogle Cave. You know, the guys with the funny, cute, adorable name. Oogle Boogles! Hee <laughs> hee! Is it Oogle Boogle with the cute little boogles? Okay, seriously, dude. Stop! STOP WITH THE NONSENSE! Back here, in the back entrance, which you cannot see clearly, don't feel bad, I can't see either. My television's not doing any justice here. Back here is a switch. This uh, here will say, leads to Witchy World, or to Witchy World, I think. Let me see. Let's confirm this. Yes, we have confirmed it. It says to Witchy World. You definitely want to press that switch, because you're going to come back here probably in maybe about six, seven episodes later. I don't know. At the rate I'm moving, I'm guesstimating five to six videos per world, which is starting to kind of great or grate my nerves and grind my gears, along with several other things that are going on, of course. One of which is uh, what's been going on in these episodes. I have been using the same words such as so, queso, okay, so, okay, so, yeah, okay, so, my cheese. Seriously, dude, you need to calm your tail feathers with that crap. Nobody wants to know about your nasty, stinky cheese. You seem okay. Me let you in. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. What was I saying? Oh, I was ranting about things. So, I do... I did it again. There you go. There you go. There's the crap, man. More crap to pile onto the poop pile. Oh, man. I'm telling you. This is just ridiculous. It is just plump ridiculous. I can't believe this. I'm sitting here gargling with word vomit when I should be expanding my vocabulary. I mean, seriously, do I have to read the dictionary to expand it a little more? Besides using the same transitioning? I mean, seriously, this is such baloney! This is bullcrap, man! It's BS! Okay. Did I have my moment in the limelight yet? Yes, I did. Okay. <sighs> now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and continue what we're doing. We are learning a new move today. And our good old drill sergeant friend, Jam Jars, is going to do, uh, going to be the one that teaches us the move. So let's go ahead and do that. You need a whopping 420 notes. I can't believe that you're a bird who can't match eggs. It's so absurd. So hold down Z and then press B. Then a real bird I'll finally see. Mm-hmm. That'll be all. Bish, mayest. See you later, dude. Okay, so we can now hatch eggs if we press Z and press B. Right now it looks like we're just taking a squat here, you know, fixing to take a leak with Kazooie here. I guess that's how they would do it. I don't know. I, I'm not a female, man. I, I just, I, or, nor am I a bird, you know. I don't I don't think about the, that kind of stuff, you know. Unless I start thinking about it like I'm doing right now, like, how do they take a leak? Hmm. Makes you wonder. I know how they crap. They fly right over my car and take a dump and just drop it right there. Right there, right in the freaking wing shield, man. Right in the top. And I just slopped on myself, man. That's nasty. But seriously, man, I don't I can't tell you how many times I walk outside my car and I'm having to bring out Windex or paper towel to get the freaking crap off my windshield. It's just disgusting, man. I'm thinking to myself, seriously? You can't wait just a few more seconds where there's a tree covering it. You gotta just drop it right there. Pew! splat right on my freaking windshield. You nasty. You nasty little dirty bird. Oof, just, oof, you just wait. Wait till we in the back alley. You go fly away and I'm gonna sit there and watch you laugh while I sit here, sit there, stomp, fume, and throw a hissy fit because you've done me injustice, you know? I'm not gonna do a darn thing about it, but you, you just wait. I, I, I can imagine that I'm going to get my revenge and then you're just gonna fly away laughing at me. What am I even saying? Seriously? Okay. Dad did it again! They're in it again! What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! No, 
I will shove a sock down your throat if you say one more okay. Seriously, this is as bad as the like-like episode. <sighs> okay. That was my version of me sounding like what I would sound like if I shove a sock down my throat. Right now, what we are doing is we're going to take care of another side quest. Camera, don't mess with me. I'm not in the mood. Really? Really? Let's try that again, shall we, without the falling down off the cliff side. We need to take a clockwork kazooie egg. You don't need to do it this way. So I don't know why I'm making myself do it this way. This is actually a little harder, but I feel like this makes it easier for me. You know, as far as getting this guy to have his booty pointed toward us. So here we go. We're going to take care of the last poop man. Right in the booty! Ugh! Not believe you beat an all the rotten nut tribes. We let you have shiny rock. Why don't I just burp right at the end there, man? Hey, we got a gold nugget, by the way. Ugh, that's so nasty, dude. What am I doing? Put that away. I want to go ahead and go through the back entrance, actually, real quick, of the, the Ungabungus cave. I don't particularly have any, like, specific reason of doing this. It's just, I don't know, it's not my... I don't know if it's really you would count it as 100% completion's sake, but I figure I'd go ahead and show you guys the last entrance that we didn't go into. Right back here, actually. Um, we passed this up when we were doing the little T-Rex thing. You know, the whole uh, tidbit with the, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, right, the roar thing. Yeah, the roar episode. I, I forget what I called that episode. I think I called it Baby T-Rex or something. Something stupid like that. You know, because I'm not really creative with my chant, with my title names, man. That's another thing I need to work on. It's getting more creative. Be a little more subtle, you know, with my humor. That's something I... That's a substance I seem to lack sometimes, a subtlety. Just a little bit, you know? Just saying. You could use a little subtleness, you know? It might just enhance... The enjoyment of your audience's time while they're with you. Oh, man. Speak of which, I do apologize to any of you if I've at all spoken down to you or in or otherwise been snarky toward you. I had no intentions of doing that. I just, I probably was, I responded to you in a comment or message or whatever on a day where I was a little pissed off, pardon my French, but I'm just going to say I was probably a little pissed off that day. And there was no reason for you to be, you know, in the line of fire of it. Because I have my days where, for whatever reason, I'm just in a really bitter mood. I'm gonna take this slow. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was basically... There I go! I did it again! I, fin I don't finish the thought and then I get lost. You down there! Steal my eggs, would you? Then take this! Take what? Ow! You nasty, prehistoric, psycho little witch! Seriously, if I got problems, I don't spit on you! You know, I may be a bit of a narcissist to you if I'm in a bad mood in the comments section of YouTube, but I'm not at all like that. You know, I don't spit on people. I spit on myself, but that's a different story. You know, because I'm just, I'm just a slob sometimes when I talk. Or when I spout off nonsense, you know. Kind of an no-holds-barred thing. Stop spitting on me, man! Wool man, pterodactyl, whatever you are. You nasty. Ah, you made it! <laughs> come on, I dare you to come up the stairs! I'll show you what happens to a Robin Bears! Do I know you? Seriously? I don't even freaking know what, how you even know me. Ugh. Okay, so... I, I'm, I'm, this, I'm this close to just slapping the ever-loving white out of my farmer's tan. Like, seriously. I'm that close. I'm, I'm just this close. To losing it, because I'm just I've about had it. Dude, stop absorbing my eggs, thank you. <sighs> As I was saying earlier, before you know, before we got up the mountainside, if you feel the need or feel feel like I can improve upon something, please feel free to leave me constructive criticism. I will definitely read it and try to consider it without being a total ass to you. I know this is a bit off character and off key, but this was something that was on my mind. It's been bothering me that I really haven't addressed it fully and completely. Because I remember a long time ago, before I first started uh, Let's Play, or when I was first starting Let's Play, I actually would used to say, feel free to leave me constructive criticism or comments, you know, telling me what I can and cannot do, or can and cannot do. 
telling me things or requesting that I do things, maybe clean things up or whatever. And for whatever reason, I think that message kind of got lost when uh, I managed to... I don't know, I, I don't really have a success, but I guess when I got a little bit more seniority over some people. And I, I truthfully need to remind myself that I'm not the freaking god of Let's Play, you know? I'm, by, means, I'm, by any means, I'm not thinking that. It's just, I, I, I need to work on not getting so much of an ego, but again, if you feel like I need to work on something, please let me know in the comments, and I will try not to bite your head off like a dumbass. And pardon my French again, but I'm just kind of speaking my thoughts clearly this time without any censorship, because I usually try to censor what I say. Anyway, what's going on here? Get some ginormous feet, man. What the heck's going on? What, what even? I hear boss music. Am I supposed to fight like a giant foot? A stinky foot? What's going on, man? Holy Shaquille O'Neal! Stompanadon. Stompanadon. Ugh. I don't even know what want to know how that's pronounced. Jeez. Okay. I did it again, didn't I? You did it again, didn't you? You left the water on, didn't you? What's the matter with you? I told you not to do it. Why'd you do it? Harry, it's our calling card. All the great ones do it. You're the wet bandits. What am I doing? I'm getting killed here. Oops. Uh, we're not supposed to do this as Banjo. My bad, guys. Uh, uh, oh, 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 there we go. Boop, boop. Flat nosed and dead. Yes. This is what happens when you use me as a guide. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Can I please, for once, not start a sentence with the word okay? Jambalaya. There. We did it. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why can't I just use a different word? Is it just... Am I cursed? Am I cursed? Seriously? <sighs> so we're basically running in, in between these little, like, holes here, as you can kind of guess to me. If you watch the cutscene and manage to ignore me spouting off nonsense. We're basically kind of going in between here. We're going to get flattened here. Ow. But that's okay, because we're toward the end! That's okay! You can use okay in the middle of the sentence, but freaking don't start with the word okay! Or so! Okay, or okay, so! Oh. I apologize, guys, if I'm making such a big deal out of, uh, making a mountain out of a molehill, if you will. But I'm just, truthfully, I'm, it grates my ears every time I v review my videos or I'm editing my videos. And I sit there and I say the same godforsaken phrase over and over again. It's not even a catchphrase. It's a word. It's a way to phrase something. You don't just make a freaking transitional word of catchphrase. You know, you it just, you don't do it. You don't. You don't. Okay. <sighs> I need a chill. I need me a Snickers or a Twix, man. That's just what the problem is here. I'm missing my Twix and my Snickers. I'm ran I ran out of Snickers and Twix. When I ate all my freaking candy stash from Halloween, or Halloween, I would hope you didn't ate it, you know. That, that, right now, it'd be probably pretty bad. My, uh, stocking that my parents were very gracious to get me, I, or actually, I think it was my, yeah, my, actually, both my parents got me a stocking. It was really nice of them, actually. <sighs> ramble, ramble, shenanigan, shenanigans. All that aside, we got ourselves another gold Ding. nugget. Gold Ding. nugget, man. How long is that taking us? That took us about 14 minutes, 13 minutes, give or take. Jeez, Louise, this is ridiculous, dude. You're you're just you take forever to get stuff done. Like seriously, why do you take so freaking long to get something done? Huh? That's probably another thing I need to work on. Hello. <laughs> Feedback 101, dude. Learn to take it. Learn to like. <gasps> oh, burp. Yeah. Well, we already know how to do that. Learn to accept the fact that you can improve. You have things you can work on. Seriously. Whoa, I just realized I'm about to die here. That's not good. That's not cool, man. I need to get some life. Here, freeze that. Dude, freeze. Time to kick some ice. Freeze, will you? Thank you. Even though that's probably not what, what, what ice would do. At least one chunk of ice. You would need like several chunks of ice cubes bundled together to probably achieve the same result. I don't know. I mean, in Pokemon, clearly, fire beats ice. But, you know, 
I don't... Uh, uh, different games have different ways of thinking. I'm going to die today, aren't I? No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I already had to re-record this, and then last episode I died a lot. Or actually, no, I didn't die a lot. I almost game over a few times, excluding the one in the Stompasaurus planes. You know, Mr. Bigfoot planes. Jeez Louise. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't freaking do it. Don't you dare fall off. We did that last time, and even though it was probably funny the way I reacted, I was really... I was irritated. Oh. <sighs> Anywho. Last ep... Er, old videos aside that will never make it on YouTube. Thank you all for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tail swap. If you feel the need... I, or feel like I need to improve something, please definitely let me know in the comments. And, uh, I guess we'll see each other next time in uh, the next video of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Peace out, y'all. Check it.